little fast for the area. A little fast. Way too fast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My biggest fear is collision on this. Green light. Okay, whatever. This guy's turning right. What's going on here? Why is that stopped? And that's why. Why would a car stop in a turn lane? It's because they witnessed something. Uncommon thing in a common situation. There's a reason why people do that. It's because he witnessed a crash. That's high mechanism with that speed. Where's the, where's your buddy? Hey, yo, don't try to move him. Hey, don't try to move him. Good, 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 good. Don't try to move him, man. He's not moving very well. He's good, no, he's good. I'm going to call 911, dog. Call 911. Oh, he's walking wounded. Okay, okay. So their biggest concern is possibly trying to get out of this situation. I want you guys to see how it started. So we just went through an intersection right here. Okay, so we're looking back to see where our buddies are at. Great, great, great. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, so this is the person that's going to crash going really fast, okay? Nighttime, low visibility. You also have to watch out for other drivers. They have low visibility too. Also, anybody here riding at night or driving at night uh, having astigmatism because that's what these lights look like. You see how they're like kind of like blurred and like like the – yeah, anyways. You have very terrible depth perception, very terrible blinding of the lights, everything, okay? So you got to be very careful with that. <laughs> He's also not wearing full gear, so uh, very, very high risk. Now, it, all, gear is only a problem. Uh, not having gear is only a problem if you crash. I hear that all the time. But I don't want to have to deal with the problem if I crash because you never know if you're going to crash. Uh, you, you have a good chance of not crashing with a very high skill set. But if we're taking super high risks, it's going to offset our skills by quite a bit. Risk management. Okay? Start learning that. Be a smart rider. So we're, we're going, we're going our speed. It looks like we're going about 35. Looks like we're going about 35 miles an hour. We're kind of waiting for everybody to show up. Um, everyone else is hauling butt. I have a feeling he knows that we're gonna have to turn right at this intersection coming up because we're going to stay in the right lane. Okay, we're looking back. Okay. Everybody, everyone did their thing. We're in the right turn lane now. So maybe he knew that that's what we had to do. So maybe that's what they were doing. Right. Maybe that's what. Okay, so if that's the case, man, you guys are not setting yourselves up for a good turn. You're hauling butt on a 90-degree turn with curbs, with, with low visibility, with cars in the way. Uh, very poor choice. Very poor choice. The only person that could probably make this turn is this guy that's riding right now. So when I talked about the uncommon thing in a common situation, hey, what's up, Rathboy? Thank you so much. The, the uncommon thing in a common situation here is why is that car stopped in a turn lane when there's nobody in front of him? Huh. So without your friends riding, if you ever see this, there's something causing this car driver to stop. And if that's the case, don't try to run past and, and lane split or, or do anything dumb dumb, okay? Because you don't know what that person stops for. It could have been a big piece of wood across the, 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 uh, the lane. And now you just went over it. Um, but the, the thing that happened here is that he witnessed a crash. Oh. See, it's like, why would this truck or this car stop? Could have been something in the path. We don't know. Uh, but that gives you a good indication of situation awareness of, huh, that's a little weird. I'm going to go into orange stage real quick and see what's going on. That's what that is. Good, bro. All right. So when we see this kind of mechanism, maybe the, he tried to come in. Let's see if we can go back just a little bit. Okay, so maybe this motorcycle rider, the one that crashed, tried to cut in uh, around this vehicle. Maybe not. Maybe the vehicle is way back there and just witnessed this. Uh, but tried to cut in and went wide. Boom, hit this curb instead of going where they're supposed to go because of speed. It's same thing with the cornering. Uh, this is uh, just a scarier spot because you have less uh, space to really do your maneuvers. So you should be going this fast anyways. But that's probably what happened. But then here's the thing. Let's say he low-sided 
and slid into the curb. Ay, 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 ay. Easily broken bones, easily things like that. Uh, be very careful. My hope is that he hit the curb and then fell off versus sliding into the curb. Because that that's that's a way worse mechanism of injury. That is not good. So in this situation, what you can do, since since there's a crash, these cars are gonna stop, is I would park my bike where my headlight is shining on the scene. That way I have vision in what I'm having to work in. You know what I mean? So that's that's another thing. Position it. Uh, if you have to rescue somebody, position your bike to where your your headlights are are shining. Hey, yo, call the fucking. Hey, yo, don't try to move him. Hey, don't try to move him. Yeah, you don't want to move him. Don't try to move him. Don't try to move him. Don't try to move him, man. So we don't know exactly what happened, you know, with, with injuries and whatnot, but it's very high mechanism. And if, if we're trying to like leave the scene, then we have other issues. And if you're riding with a group of friends and they're like, Hey, we got to leave, we got to leave and then leave your friend. Uh, those aren't your friends. Whoa, that was a pretty crazy crash. Well, maybe they should have been talking to each other by using the Pack Talk Bold from Cardo. Thank you so much for Cardo for sponsoring this channel. Make sure you click the link in the description. It'll automatically apply a discount. I use a Pack Talk Bold with my kids, with my wife, and then with the crew locally here. And it's an amazing product. I love it very much. Anyways, check them out. Links in the description. See them.